First, we created the music. The next phase included a concept of the storyboard. The opening sequence was filmed in the studio. The concept involves shooting and five lightning options. From this point, we gained control over synchronization of the lightning with music coming from the background in the post-production phase. Outdoor sequences were filmed at the airport motorpark Uenge. The driving goal was to film and place Arenera in the 3D space. The car in all shots is real. The surrounding of Arenera was created in 3D. A futuristic city and canyon rendering was made in the European Render Farms companies. A big challenge was presented by the transition from the studio to driving the Arenera in a physically non-existent futuristic city. The initial shot was taken by the means of the camera crane, which had to be then reflected during driving. To this aim, we deployed a remote-controlled helicopter. To achieve the stable image without any detriment to the quality, 35mm camera was placed on board the helicopter, the Helicam. All the shots from the Helicam were taken on the photosensitive tape and then scanned to 4K resolution. Post-production involved as follows. We superimposed five lightning variations. We stabilized the shot. We then moved to the rotoscoping of Arenera. To change the background, we made camera match moving to 3D. The subsequent phase was stabilization of the final shot then tracking, rotoscoping, morphing, 3D animation, compositing, and so we achieved the final effect. On the set, Michał Grzelak was the lead cameraman. Technical shots were supervised by Sebastian Nowitzki. Sound recorded by Mariusz Kurczyński. Numerous trails and attempts were made to deliver the final unparalleled shots. Which took over a week to complete. Due to wholehearted involvement of the entire team, the work continued around the clock. The shots of Arenera in the tunnel were taken by the camera RED-1. The sensitive sensor Matrix Mysterium X enables shooting with low latitude. Davos. Shots when driving were taken by one of the most distinguished steady cameramen, Jacek Drofiak. According to the concept, the car drives through the smoky tunnel where powder, dust and rain were added by Paweł Gaonska in the post-production work. Final shot depicting driving through water was made in slow motion by the camera RED-1 at 100 frames per second. Post-production was scheduled to be completed within three weeks. 